Happy, Happy holidays. holidays! Chris and Gina here with Hollywood Haunter, and we just got done making this tree. Every year, we look forward to going to Disneyland and seeing the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay that they do on the Haunted Mansion. And when you're down in the spooky graveyard, they have these big piles of snow that are shaped just like this, and they have the flickering jack-o'-lanterns, and we were like, man, we gotta try to make that. Yes, but out of a Christmas tree. Yeah. Well, it was really easy to do, it was a lot of fun, and we had a lot of the stuff lying around already. Yeah. So we thought, we gotta show you guys how to make this. So let's get to making Christmas. Making Christmas, making Christmas. So we just set up our nine foot Christmas tree because we want to make this thing as big as we can. <laughs> and if you guys are wondering where we found this tree, we actually picked it up off of Craigslist. Someone was giving it away for free. So always check your free section, check your thrift stores, Goodwill, your neighbor sometimes put it out on the curb. <laughs> it um, helps to have a Gina because yeah. we have like 10 of them. <laughs> where to store them, yeah, right? Yeah, yard sales. <laughs> <laughs> also, I wanted to tell you, we did put sandbags on the tree down here. I've got a piece of black fabric covering them, but um, I would just want to make sure because it is a taller tree and because we are going to be doing a lot of stuff to the tree, it's it's probably safe. It's not going anywhere, yeah. but um, just for just safety's safe. sake, yeah, you might want to make sure that it's weighted down. Plus, we've got a little toddler running around. You yeah, know, exactly. Tree. Help me! <laughs> <laughs> this thing is awesome. It's got really cool different um, branches and stuff like that, but we have actually been collecting trees for several years for props and projects and things that we do. And we have extra branches as well, which is nice because what we want to do is there's some pockets in here. We want to make this thing look really dense. So we're just taking some of these branches and we're just sticking them in there. And what's cool is because of course these are all wire already, we're just putting it where we want taking some of these and wrapping them around each other just to keep them in there secure and just, just go like that spread out the branches yep. spread out the branches now it looks like it goes all in there whoa <laughs> this tree is so full yeah another thing we're doing is because we want to make the effect of it going up and around we're actually taking some of the branches and we're bending them up a little bit not a lot of them yeah so because we'll set snow and pumpkins and stuff on here but just enough to get it going up so we've already bent what we can see from the front also you want to put shorter branches so take some of the longer ones and move them down and then take some extra short ones from the other tree and stick them up there yeah because um, the shorter the better then you have to have like a ton of extra like Fold up. Honestly, what we're trying to do is just make this tree look bent. So you could either shim the stand mm -hmm. and make the tree kind of lean, which it actually is leaning a little bit. And it's then, the yeah, and then it could be the concrete. And then, like Gina was saying, we're leaving some of the branches long down here and then putting short branches right here, but normal ones there. So the tree kind of starts to look like it does the curve like that. Yeah. So, and then once you get it the way you like it, we're ready for the next step. I started to do this on the ground and then I was like, hey, cool, I got another tree stand. I'll just <laughs> use that. So you can see what I did is I put the top of our nine foot Christmas tree straight in there and we smashed this side so that it just goes that direction. And then I took another top to another tree and holding it in place by just twisting it in there. And then we made it a little more full by adding in a couple of these branches. Now we're just gonna fill it in, work our way all the way around and create a our little question mark. On this. That's just one big branch? Oh, you got no, two in there. No, we got a couple of them. See, there's the pull for one going into the other. Yeah. And I just bent the curve. So then we'll just stick this in here and wire that next. Bend it get over. It, yeah, get it like you want. And then, right now, that looks a little thin right there, right? Yeah, it does. So, you just take one of these, and what I was doing was just kind of bending the curve on it. You can always bend it back. And then adding that on there. Oh, yeah. You just keep building it. Yeah. 
Until you get it the way you like it. Exactly. It's really easy. Yeah. And like I said, the you don't have to buy any extra garland or anything. You just keep packing it together. Stuff. And this nine foot tree ends up turning into like a, what, 10 and a half, 11 yeah, foot tree when totally. it's all said and done. So if you have a short ceiling, obviously you gotta make your tree <laughs> a little smaller. But. Start with the smaller tree. Feel your way. Yeah, plug this sucker in the top. What I've done is I've just taken some of the branches on the top of the tree and twisted that together with the, some of the branches on this curve. I'm gonna just keep adding these branches to it to make it a little more full. And I'm gonna to try to build this side out so it just continues that curve before it starts to go over. Now, Gina and I did see another tutorial on YouTube that was really cool. And what they did is they actually used some sticks that they found and then they took a bunch of garland and they just wrapped it all the way around. And then they used a little string or the hook for it and attached it to the top here to support it. And we'll put uh, links in the description below if you guys are interested in that. We did two different lights. We did steady on incandescent white lights, and then we got these new teeny tiny little fairy lights. <laughs> and these are cool because they have like different functions and stuff. So we have them on a random mode because we thought it would be cool to bring, you know, just some variety. And again, we didn't go all the way around. We no, just did we the- we just zigzagged. And yeah. If you guys are real anal about the way you do your lights, I'm sorry just kind of threw them on <laughs> but it should look good in the end that's the brand of the little teeny tiny lights if anyone is interested Chris just sent me inside to get some pumpkins it's funny because we literally just stacked these up to store them we're gonna need some big ones medium ones and small ones for the very top and we're looking for scary faces so you guys are coming with me you mr. smiley Sorry, gotta stay here. Aww. Now I've just got some of this rebar wire. It's real cheap. Got it at the box store. Just... You remember which way you drilled your hole? No. <laughs> there you go. Give it a little twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. <laughs> All right, so now... Pick a spot, Gina. Pick a spot. I like this one right here. It looks like there's a spot right here just for it. You can either take one of the existing stems, because these are wire, and just twist it around if you don't want to do the drilling, and that does a pretty good job. Or since we went ahead and did it, we can wire the hook back there. Nice. And then the other thing too is, come on over here, What's nice too is if these do have wires, yep. you can fish the wire through the tree and do the same thing, kind of lock the cable in Ooh. with like something like that and that'll keep it. That's nice. In case you have any crazy cats at your house that want to <laughs> jump and knock these pumpkins out. <laughs> really? Or toddlers. Yeah, or toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> Which we do, <laughs> if you're new here. <laughs> we got all our pumpkins where we want them. Yeah. Now, as far as the flickering of these pumpkins, there's lots of cool ways to make your pumpkins flicker. Yeah. The nice, cool way is to do the LEDs that flicker random individual, which we don't have these set up like that. They're still set up with our old incandescent bulbs. So what we do in uh, some of our displays is we hook these up to either a chase yep. or our lightning simulator. Lights alive. Yeah. And on this particular tree, Gina and I thought it would be cool if instead of them randomly flickering, if they all do it together. Got tea lights, you could throw those in there. The flickering ones, you could even shove Christmas lights in yes. there. Extra ones that you have, you can run yep. the string through. The There's so many lighting options now. I mean, they even have ones on remote control and timers. I mean, and Alexa. Set it and forget it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me show you what we got going on back here. What I've got is I've got all the cords from the jack o' lanterns plugged into two power strips, and then those two power strips are plugged into an extension cord that goes into the back of our lights alive little lightning simulator here. I've got it plugged into the dimmer section instead of the other channels where you plug in our lightning lights. And then I've just got an old phone with uh, lightning track playing and then that's what's giving me my little dimming effect if you wanted to you could 
tuck these inside and do this side of the tree as well. I mean, you could yeah. hide these all inside. Yep, run it all down the tree trunk. We got a little Griswold action going on back here for you guys. And now let's play in the snow. Some buffalo snow. <laughs> At least that's what it's called, the brand we got. We got 24 ounces from Walmart for five bucks. We saw it at a couple different retailers, varying prices, but all around the same. Yeah, I thought we needed like three bags of it, but Gina's like, no. Yeah, it She's actually, right. you don't really need that much. And we've got a nine foot tree, and we're only putting it on half for part of it, yeah. Part purposes only, <laughs> but it's cool. You can take the sheet, rip it in half, then take it kind of bunch it back together. You don't want to thin it out too much because you don't want spider webs. Or maybe you do. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna take this piece, let's go put it on the tree. Just gonna tuck it right in there. Find a few pieces where it can stick in there. And then I like to kind of pull down a little bit and bunch it up. Then pull down in some areas, give it kind of like a dripping effect, I guess. It's a little cartoony, but that's yeah, perfect for what we're doing here. It is. Put snow right in the little hook right there. Okay. See what that looks like. Aww. I like that. Just kind of blend it a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Also looks good if you put some snow underneath the pumpkins. Yeah. But not all of them. Just a couple. You could take a couple little clumps, ball them up real good, and then find yourself a good <laughs> patch. Put on there and then just do little bits here and there. Little patches. It melted a little bit. <laughs> and it's up to you. You could do a pattern where you kind of zigzag back and forth, or you could do kind of stripe look. Yeah. We kind of chose to break it up and make it a little bit more realistic, I guess. Yeah, Part more random. Realistic. Yeah, more random for sure. So you just have to keep standing back yep, and then eh, at it, put a little here, back, put a little, yeah, there. a little there. You want to come back and pick up these little pieces right here because you don't want those glowing. Yes. If you choose to use a black light. We're going to use three black lights lights because this is a big tree <laughs> and these ones we just got off of Amazon from on for you we'll put the link in the description below we went to the 99 cent store and they had a couple of options of icicles and we ended up choosing these crystal ones right here yeah and they both glow in the black light so that's really awesome yeah and we just wanted bigger icicles <laughs> <laughs> always go bigger and uh, we're just using some tie wire to hang these up that way I can hook them over the stem yeah and be careful because you don't want to snap off that teeny <laughs> tiny little hole right there yeah i did that to one of them yeah a couple of them <laughs> <laughs> this is making me cold Ooh, hanging the icicles now what are you doing exactly are you wrapping it around the lights or the wire or what are you doing yeah i just made some hooks kind of real fast hooks and oh, okay hooking it around the green shrubbery Got it. Or the branches. Got but it. I'm trying to hide the the tops. Yeah. And then also I'm making sure that they're different lengths and making them point the same way because some of them might be looking like that. Oh yeah. So it's cool. Yeah. I think just a couple more and that'll look good. Pumpkins are in. Lights are on. Snow's been flopped. We got the icicles on top. Black lights are positioned <laughs> correctly. <laughs> Now we just gotta wait for night time. And then we can see it all together. I was hoping this was going to turn out awesome. I just didn't realize how magical it was going to be. When I turned on all of the black lights, it literally took our breath away.
We really hope you enjoyed watching us put this together, and we hope we inspired you to make your own. If you're new to our channel, we'd love for you to subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell if you want to be notified on future videos. Thanks for watching! What did Santa bring you? Look what I 